Because what Blue Sky is, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what Twitter used to, used to be. Because I don't want to be in an echo chamber full of just crazy extremist liberals who I hate. And I don't want to be in an echo chamber full of full extremist right-wing people who I hate as well. I can't remember the last time I went on the main timeline on Twitter. I can't remember. Because when you go on the main timeline, it's attention horse. <sighs> so people are leaving for the blue sky. <laughs> people are leaving for the blue sky. Cool logo. Now, let me just tell something to, 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 the, to the musketeer here. Now the musketeer. Like, this is like a little, it's like, it's like a marketing branding thing. Colors. If you want to have a color for any kind of brand, especially let's just keep it on social media. Two colors you should never use, black and white. You see, if you actually had people advising you, giving you stuff, two colors you never use, and it's just a human thing, black and white, because they are far too binary. Blue, red, purple, as in Reddit, red. Instagram, that's purple and yellowy. Twitter, blue. Facebook blue, like because it's one because it's like once the human mind sees blue, sees red, sees green, what's up? That's that's green. It's just far more welcoming, and it's just far more welcoming to the eye. Black, white, because black is it's too harsh and, and everything. White, it's empty. It's, it's, it's void of any, any personality. It's like, bleh. so you never use black and white. You know, those are, those are just a key things. So it is also nice seeing Blue Sky, because like, because what Blue Sky is, I'm like, oh yeah, this is what Twitter used, used to be. Where it's just guys just talking. It's no agenda, no there's no, nobody attention or horror. There's just guys just chatting and, 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 just, and just talking. Guys just chatting and talking, which is what's, how message boards should, should really be. Similar to what Reddit is about. <laughs> you know, when you just go to Reddit, oh yeah, that's an interesting thread. Boom. Okay, let me join in. Because here's the thing. And this and, and this 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 the scenario here. <sighs> Being in an echo chamber is trash. I don't want to be in a right-wing echo chamber. I don't want to be in a liberal echo chamber. Being an, an extremist, I think it's trash. Because I don't want to be in an echo chamber full of just crazy extremist liberals who I hate. And I don't want to be in an echo chamber full of full extremist right-wing people who I hate as well. I hate liberal extremists and I hate right-wing extremists because, guys, life is nuanced. I know that's how to get life is nuanced. I have some conservative views. I have some liberal views. I'm sorry. It can be like, oh, no, no, all your views must be liberal because we are the liberal tribe and we must be part of the liberal tribe. Oh, all your views must be right-wing and you must be all part of the right-wing tribe. Nah, I'm sorry, I told you, I'm, I'm a lone dog. I'm a lone wolf, okay? I don't, I don't need to be part of a tribe or part of a crew. Yes, we are the liberal mob. We're the right-wing mob. No, no, no. I'm not part of mobs. I'm an individual. I think independently. And there are specific views I have on different topics which might be conservative for some views, liberal for some views. But the issue with what you've now had with Twitter, I ain't calling it sex videos. So, so um, Twitter, now XV videos, <laughs> is it's now, it's not even the whole right-wing thing. That's just one aspect. It's that it's, it's a mess. I, I never go on the main timeline. I go, so I use it as, as news gathering. So, being that I do, I run a football channel. What's Fabrizio saying? What's Senegal saying? What are the trending football topics? And what are just the trending topics in the world? So I, it is purely for news gathering, and for interaction for people. In my notifications, I never gone. I cannot. I can't remember the last time I went on the main timeline on Twitter. I can't remember, because when you go on the main timeline, it's attention horse. What tweets can I put out that can gain the most traction so I can gain money from it? But the beauty about Blue Sky is 
oh yeah, this is what Twitter used to be. Twitter was just people having conversations. And so, yeah, that's an interesting conversation. Well, let me join in. And then you're now into that, that conversation. People are not being attention hones. They're not trying to say, okay, what's the most controversial thing I can say to gain the most views? Because those views and those impressions give me money. So it's just, so I'm like, yeah, this is what Twitter used to be. And Twitter was, it was an amazing app. Just how it was coined. And I'm one of those guys that take it back to 120 characters. Take it back to that. Because I've, I'm like, no, say what you need to say in 120 characters or less. If you can't, don't tweet. Quick, concise, boom. I like that, you know? So the, the thing here is, Blue Sky, Blue Sky is obviously benefiting off of a lot of people just leaving Twitter. Based off of whether it's Trump winning, how toxic the, the, the place is. And it is going to be very hard for Blue Sky to compete with Twitter because Twitter already has such a huge base built off Jack Dorsey because this is the key thing you have to understand here. And let's not get it twisted. Jack Dorsey built that platform. And Musk has now benefited off of it. And it seemed as if he could have taken it to the next level, but with the millions of viewers that are, are now leaving and the millions of users are leaving, you're tanking it. So if you're Jack Dorsey, like, bro, Everything that I built, look at what you've done. Imagine those guys that made YouTube. I remember, I think it was about four or five of them who made YouTube and then Google bought it off of them. Imagine Google just turned it into some trash and tanked it. They'd be like, God damn, look, look at the amazing video making website that, that we built and look at what happened. You know? So Jack Dorsey, just, just keep credit to your boy Dorsey. It is he who built it. And made that unique, amazing platform, and Musk just bought it and tried to just benefit off of it. But the thing here is, you see, I remember I can't even remember the name of this. Because remember, I was like part of like the development team of this app. It's 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 never went through, but this is way back when, and it, it failed. So, and the reason why it failed was like you know it just it, it didn't really work very very well similar to MySpace. Now this is this is now aging my myself a bit. I told you I'm twenty and something else. I've 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 got like three different ages. MySpace was trash, <laughs> but it was the only um, website where you could post music. But it was garbage in terms of usability, how it was organized, user friendliness. It was trash, and the reason why it didn't really. Um, Get off, which also it was it was it was, it was crap. And the key thing about an app is usability, usability, usability. Anybody will tell you that it has to be easy to use, easy, simple to use. The moment that things are not organized very well, things it's it's hard to use. You've you, you've lost your user or potential users. So similar to the other app, I was like a part of way back when. It was just disorganized. Things didn't work well. It was a bad experience. So I think what is in Blue Sky's favor is nostalgia. That is the key thing. And there's a reason why they chose a symbol very similar to Twitter. Because you see, that's like a butterfly. Butterfly, bed, similar thing. So 100% they said, no, we are counting on nostalgia. And oh yeah, we're trying to... This It's basically Twitter 2.0. So it's a mixture of nostalgia and taking advantage of the political sphere right now of Trump coming back into power, Donity saying what's up for another four, four years, what Musk has done to Twitter and people now running back and running away, running away and are running towards blue sky. So, and my thing is, if they just add to the app, increase it, make it interesting, perhaps do things they wanted to do to Twitter, oh no, no, like this could be huge. And what you could see is a massive split where Twitter, aka X videos, is now a right wing echo chamber. And Blue Sky, I'm hoping, is just something else. My f this is my fear. What I don't want this to be is this is a left wing echo chamber. Then that then that's trash. Because if you now have 
Twitter, aka X videos, right hook echo chamber, blue sky, left hook echo chamber, and then that's trash. I don't want to be seeing transgender should rule the world, LGBTQ, Trump is Satan, and let's kids learn about all this sexual stuff at three years old and blah blah blah. And like okay, let's okay, no. I don't want to be inundated with that. Okay, no. But what I like to, to be is it's just an app. If people are just sharing stuff, are just sharing views. And there is no misinformation. Then there are no people trying to be attention whores. There's not all this crazy stuff. It isn't skewed extremely at either left or right. It's just people just talking. I was like, oh yeah, that's an interesting topic. Let me jump in. Oh, that's an interesting thread. Let me jump in. So, because, because what you can't... A social media platform should just be like a social media platform where you don't know what you'll find. Reddit. I go to Reddit and, oh, I don't know what I'll find. There isn't a Reddit guy who's like, I'm not going to use Reddit as a platform to now politically push an agenda. No. Take politics away, all agenda away, just make it a platform where me as an independent individual, I can just get into whatever convos I want and the platform isn't being engineered or skewed into one place or another. You know, because when you just look at Twitter right now, it's, it's Twitter is a mess. It is a, comp I'm like, what, I mean, what is, what's, what's this garbage? Like, and the amount of trash you just see people post, it's, 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 it's I told you, I don't go in the main timeline, because I know this is just going to be crap, and, and, and just garbage. So look, yeah, I'm on Blue Sky, baby. I'm on Blue Sky, baby. Um, and, look, okay, so, can Blue Sky overtake Twitter, eventually? <sighs> It's, they, they'd need to come up with something cool. Being just nostalgia, hey, there's a Twitter. There needs to be TikTok. TikTok has something new, unique about, oh, go to TikTok because TikTok represents this. So Blue Sky, they need, because you are going to get a huge base based off nostalgia and people leaving Twitter. Boom. That's not enough. To really be like, oh, something, again, this is what we're learning in business, USP. They need a USP, unique selling point. So what is the unique selling point of Blue Sky? What does Blue Sky have that nothing else has? Because then it's like, oh yeah, this is just similar to what Twitter is. So they need to come up with that. Oh, maybe this is an interesting way of sharing videos. Interesting ways of interacting with pe people. Or oh, this is an interesting way of how it's, it's, you can now embed things into your phone. Oh, it's very, the usability on your phone, because what I've always said about guys is like, I just wish it was easier to tweet from your phone on the go where like, I'm like in a different app and I can actually tweet. So I'm on Instagram. Oh yeah, this is an interesting thing I want to tweet about. And I can actually still be on Instagram and actually tweet from Instagram using my phone. So, so the app is embedded into YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. So you never even have to go to the app to now tweet. So if Blue Sky can do that, sort of just like, Attach itself to other apps so you can you can always post. That's something that is USB, that is unique. So, yeah, look, I'm very interested to see how this goes. And again, all I ask is that don't be an extremist echo chamber. Don't. Be neutral. And just, just be a damn platform. Just be a damn social media platform.